हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम श्वेता सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी यू द टॉपिक ऑन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टीच इज अबाउट द रेगुलेशन ऑफ सेल साइकिल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द स्टेज ऑफ सेल साइकिल एंड वट सेल साइकिल इज इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ अ सेल साइकिल इट रेगुलेट्स वट आर द स्टेप्स एंड वट आर द चेक पॉइंट्स so let's briefly talk about what is the cell cycle a cell cycle it is a set of macromolecular events which are highly coordinated and that ultimately leads to the division of cells this is divided into two main stages first is interphase and the second is mitosis interphase stage is being divided into three sub stages g1 s and g2 G1 stands for the gap one phase S where the synthesis of DNA take place and G2 is the second gap phase In the interphase stage what happens a cell it prepares itself to get enter into the process of mitosis where it divides So mitosis is divided into four st sub stages prophase met metaphase anaphase and telophase In prophase what happens the chromatin or the chromosomes they will condense together to form a compact like of structure and the golgi er they will get disintegrate and the nuclear membrane will disappear in metaphase stage what happens the chromosomes will align themselves in the equator in the equatorial plate and they will attach to the spindle with their kinetochore in the anaphase stage what happens the chromosomes through their chromatids they will move to the poles they will get separate this happens in case of anaphase and in telophase the daughter cells are being formed and the golgi body er they all will reappear and the nuclear membrane it will reappear so that one cell will divide into two cells this is the process of mitosis now we will talk about the regulation how a cell cycle it actually regulates there are two main important things which helps in its regulation first is cyclins and another is cdks cyclins are regulatory subunits whereas the cdks are the catalytic subunit the combination of these two it helps in the regulation of cell cycle now what are the checkpoints what are different type of checkpoints that are present in the regulation first checkpoint is present at this stage which is g1 to s phase transition in case of a budding yeast what happens a point is present which is called as start it is s t a r t this point it helps in the transition from g1 to s phase and this point transition will occur only when the appropriate cell size and nutrient ability will be present so if it is not present the cell will not permit to get enter from g1 to s phase the similar point is being present in animal cell that is called as the transition phase or the transition point where a cell will allow to enter into the next stage that is s and that particular point for example in case of fibroblast cells a growth factor is present which is called platelet derived growth factor when that factor is present only the cells the fibroblast cells they will get proliferate otherwise they won't another uh, checkpoint is g2 to m phase where a very important factor it comes which is called maturation promoting factor and this factor is present in the oocyte of mammalian cells and also it was found that the the uh, the cytoplasm of those cells which have already entered into the m phase if that cytoplasm is taken and if it is inserted into the cells which are not going to enter into the phase later on it was found that the cells they automatically prepared themselves to get enter into the phase of mitosis so this is how this maturation promoting factor it works now there are various kind of other pathways that are helpful in the cell cycle arrest if any problem if any problem it occurred in the dna then the cell will automatically uh, produce a signal that will cause cell cycle arrest in this what happens some sensor proteins are present which will bind to the dna and which will activate two 
pathways atm ataxia telangiectasia m and r these are the two families when they will get activate they will phosphorylate two check point kinases chk2 and chk1 they will get phosphorylate and once they get phosphorylate they will cause the cell cycle arrest another thing is about the p53 which is also called as tumor suppressor gene this gene will get activated only when it is phosphorylated by either chk2 or by atm both of them in uh, both of them alone can phosphorylate this particular protein which is a tumor suppressor gene which will suppress the tumor the third is rb protein which is found in the retina rb protein is activated only in the presence when it is dephosphorylated when it is dephosphorylated it will bind with e2f e2f is a factor which is responsible for the genes of s phase so when it is dephosphorylated it will bind with e2f and this combination will prevent the formation of these genes so cell will not enter into the s phase it will get arrest into the g1 phase itself so this was all about the regulation of cell cycle and for more details you can log on to our website www.gurukpo.com thank you thank you and thank you